trench war. Think I could stash a little dough? Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Need to make a deposit, sugar? Better not lose this. On my way. Call me if you need me. You Big Jim? Detective Jim McCormick. All right, Detective. I heard you have a problem with Marcano's drug operation in the French Ward. Boy, it's this whole city's problem. His man, Doc Gaston's burrowed down like a fucking cockroach, pumping the whole city full of poison. Where's Doc Gaston operate out of? If I knew that, I'd have him in a cell. Biggest goddamn pusher in the city, and no one knows a fucking thing. The name Sal Marcano tends to do that to people. Fuck Sal Marcano. Best lead I've got is the one of Gaston's suppliers is coming to town. Gonna meet with one of Gaston's people. I can't get any closer, but your friend says you're good at getting information out of people. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Don't be shy about knocking around some of Doc Gaston's boys. Probably the only way to get him to talk. Fifteen years working the French ward, and it's only gotten worse. More dope, more whores, more blood on the street. Doc Gaston's been good at staying under the radar. Some cops figure if people want to get dope, let them. Got you figured out, boy. I find you, y'all gonna die slow. Got trouble, boys. I need help! 
how's Dark Gaston running dope through town? We got a fucking ton of shit coming in by boat, huh? I'll tell you where. My crew will be in touch. Cassandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with phones. Give me just a sec. How's Doc Gaston running dope through town? The boss's bag men are out collecting. They always take the money back to a stash house somewhere. You run with me now. Son of a bitch!
a supply run out to the French ward. Be out directly. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. I'll be... Two more. Huh? Marina wants to see that baby. I'll stay. You want to keep the family stuff out of the game? Ignore him. Y'all come on over this weekend. We'll be glad to have you. Dog got a stone still above ground. Hearing about a lot of dead dealers, the ones that aren't are finally talking, saying Doc got stones in the system beneath the Big Mouth Jazz Club. You're not gonna try to convince me to let you arrest him, are you? If I wanted to arrest him, I wouldn't have let you be a part of this. Justice might be blind, but it shouldn't be stupid, too. Go do whatever it is you're gonna do. Sure thing, detective. You lured out that hippie asshole Gaston. You gonna go deal with him? Gaston's just as likely to shoot at you as he is to shoot up with you, fucking degenerate.
I just went along. Boy, dumb fucker. He had two bombs just hanging in a bar. Two. This is a man I don't think could name a single painter. And he has worked for one of the century's most vital artists first getting done for. The click of time is done. I respect the message, but as soon as they start protesting, rocking the road, and that's what they are. Why can't they just be entitled to the to shatter into a Poor dumb fucker. Circle! Got him. Hide on that piece of shit!
Something's wrong about this. He's here! Fucking handle it! You got a nice setup here, Doc. Sign with me, and I'll let you keep it going. All right, man. I'll work with you. Someone will be in touch. Get your man over to the French ward. I need backup to lock this down. No problem, pal. Help is on its way. It took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre at Sammy's and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. The Bureau didn't have a file on Clay, and I wasn't aware of his military training because his service records were classified. Otherwise, I, I might have started to connect the dots after the death of Richie Doucette. 